Hey, this is Peter from Next on Web. In this video, I will talk about the layer animations in the timeline. In Smart Slider, you can find all kinds of animations. The most common one is the main animation, which animates the slide background and the layers. As you can see, the layers and the slide background move together horizontally. If you want to animate your layers independently from the main animation, you will need a layer animation. How to add a layer animation? Click on the layer and go to the Animation tab of the layer window. Here you can choose from incoming, outgoing and loop animations. And you can also add events. The incoming animation makes the layer appear on your slide. In Smart Slider there are a lot of predefined animations in different categories. You can preview them on Hover. Of course, you can customize the chosen animation as you need. I want my layer to fade in, so I select the fade animation from the list. These are the options you can use to customize the animation. I want my layer to come from the top and scale a bit. Now I have a unique layer animation. You have the option to add more keyframes and create more complex animations. Use the play button to preview this animation. On the timeline, you can find the animations for each layer. Here you can set the delay of the animations visually. With these dots, you can set the animation duration. If you want to use this animation on other layers, just copy it. And paste it on other layers. If you have an animation on your layer, it will be overridden. The timeline also helps you synchronize your layer animations. With this play button you can play all animations on your slide and see them together. The loop is a special animation which repeats infinite times. But if you want to set how many times it should play, you can do that at its settings. To make the button move twice, I set the repeat count to 2. The loop animation is marked with green color on the timeline. The third type is the outgoing animation. You can use the outgoing animation to make a layer disappear from the slide. They appear on the timeline in gray color. You can drag this yellow playhead to check the animations at any point. If you don't need the animations, you can remove them. You can create a really cool effect if you add layer animations to a row, column or a content layer. I select a reveal animation which looks nice in the content layer. The animation affects all layers inside. The reveal animation I have chosen has special settings which you can see in the layer window. Now let's talk about the events. With the events you can trigger animations on different interactions. For example, clicking on a button makes a layer disappear. Every event needs a layer animation, so I will add an incoming and outgoing animation on my layer. There are predefined events and also you have an option to create custom events. Now I want my layer to appear if I hover on my slide with my mouse, so I choose the slide mouse enter option. Then it should disappear when the mouse is no longer on the slide. I'll use the slide mouse leave event for this. You can repeat the event if you turn on the repeatable option. Let's see how it works. I'll hover over my slide and the layer will appear and disappear if the mouse goes away. Let me show you another example where I'll use custom events instead of predefined ones. I want the layer to show up when I click on the button. First I need to define the custom events at the layer where they'll be triggered. Then I write the same event name in the click field of the button which I added at the text. So this event is triggered when I click on the button. I can separate events with a single comma. This means that the events are triggered one after the other. 
In this case, the first click will make the texture up, and the second will make it disappear. Now I will show you some special animations which a layer can have. These animations appear on the timeline too. Heading layers can have text animations, which you can set in the Content tab. The Animated Heading is a special layer, which is able to change a part of the text from the entered list. With the Highlighted Heading layer, you can put the focus on the most important part of your headlines, with a highlight which can be animated. At the counter type layers, you can also set animations. That's all you need to know about layer animations and timeline. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button.